Hey there, welcome back to Viewpoint Christian Academy for another Monday Moments. I'm Dr. Adam Rondo, director of Viewpoint, where we have been empowering parents for Christian education since 1984 through our biblical, individualized, and mastery-based approach. It's Labor Day on this Monday. Let's talk about Labor Day, or labor, and Christian education. Stay tuned. So if we think about Labor Day, the history of it, how it came about, really the, uh, the founding of Labor Day, the holiday back in the late 1800s, came about because of labor unions. And the labor unions were uh, looking for a day to recognize the American worker and a day that they could have as a holiday and rest and have recognition for the hard work that Americans did in building this country. Noble idea and a noble quest. Uh, I know that there are some controversies in regards to that, etc. But let's switch real quickly to education. Um, and, uh, you know, when we think about labor unions <laughs> or the union of teachers, the uh, teachers unions here in America, as far as education goes, there's really not a lot to celebrate in regards to that. Unfortunately, uh, labor unions, the teachers unions are, are a huge reason why we have so many problems in our, in our uh, educational system today. They are not seeking the best interest of the child so often. Rather, they're seeking, uh, they're seeking to indoctrinate students. They're, they're seeking to promote uh, ungodly, unbiblical, worldly philosophies. And uh, whether it's critical race theory or comprehensive sexuality education or uh, pushing many other uh, things. And, and I know those are the two big hot button issues right now, but uh, I've, been, I've been doing Christian education for almost 25 years now, almost a quarter of a century. And uh, uh, I've been doing it since before it got cool. <laughs> uh, when it was like, yeah, people didn't want to touch it. They weren't even really interested. Uh, let's just do the, the education thing. Now it's a little bit cooler. Oh, okay, we need to take back control of our, of our child's education. But I knew that there were problems. Not, not that there are, I don't mean, I'm not here to bash teachers in public education either, okay? Please understand me. There are some great teachers out there who love kids and are making an impact and having influence in their life. The problem is that when it comes to the public education system and the modern conventional educational program of today, now that, that also bleeds over into many private institutions as well. The problem that we're seeing with that is that, uh, Teachers are being indoctrinated and taught to really propagate um, unbiblical and ungodly ideologies to students. And um, it, it, it's just in so many areas. Unfortunately, this is what labor teacher unions have really instituted for today. So unfortunately, if we're talking about labor union, if we're talking about Labor Day and thinking about unions for education, it's not a good thing. Um, that that uh, teachers unions are doing in the government systems today and even in many private systems uh, it's it's just unfortunate and it's not great however there is still a reason to uh, celebrate uh, a day like today because if we take the term just at its base meaning labor day I want you to think about this as far as education goes if you're a parent who has opted out of the ungodly public school system uh, and you have decided to either do private Christian school or you're doing your home school or you're doing distance learning at home, etc. Guess what? You just took on a whole lot more work than, than other parents have to have. You have to labor harder. Why do I say that? Well, because now you have to pay for tuition or you have to pay for curriculum or you have to pay for tutors or you have to pay this or you have to pay that. And so you are having to work harder to earn more money to provide for your children. And you're gonna to have to work harder even every day, perhaps, to make time in your schedule, do your work, and then make sure that you get your children to do their schoolwork, etc. So you have to actually labor or work harder. And you know what? On this day, I commend you, mom and dad. I salute you and I congratulate you. I'm recognizing the labor of love that you are doing 
for your child because you want them to be discipled in the ways of the Lord and you want their discipleship to equal something that is resembling what God's Word says you should give them. And so you are stepping out in faith and you are putting action and work to your faith. And you're saying, I'm going to do whatever it takes to obey God's Word and give my child a Christian education. I commend you and I salute you. And on this Labor Day, I recognize the hard work that you're doing. So the question then that we ask as we come to a close of this quick Monday moment today is, is it worth all the work? Is it worth all the work, all the extra money? all the extra time, all the extra effort that you're putting in to trying to give your child a Christian education? The resounding answer is yes, it is worth it. It is not a labor that is in vain. It is a labor of love and obedience to what God has called you to do. It is worth it. This is why we remember what the apostle said. Don't be weary in well-doing. Don't get tired of the good work that you are doing because in due season you will reap if you don't faint, if you faint not, if you don't give up. So hang in there, mom and dad. I know it's a lot of work. I know it's a hard labor. Hang in there. Hang in there and give that child a good godly Christian education, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Yes, it costs. Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's hard worth it. God bless you. You have a great day. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, like it, follow, subscribe, do all of those great things on our channels um, and support us as we try to pro pro propagate and to encourage as many as we can to, get, to, to provide a Christian education for their children and to stick with it. God bless. Have a great day.